So, as you may know, Kmart's becoming something of the past. But only three locations. One location in New York State, one location in New Jersey, and one location in Florida. This is likely the last year Kmart will exist as a company in the United States. This video won't be posted until sometime in September. It's currently August 12th, 2022. As you may or may not know, Kmart was founded by S.S. Kresge, which was a variety store, five and dime store, started by Sebastian Kresge in 1899. Similar to stores like Woolworth, J.J. Newberry's, McCory's, and stores like that. Kmart was not open until the 1960s. Around that same time, Kmart was opening, Walmart was opening in Arkansas, and Target was opening in Minnesota. Kmart used to be a thing that you would go to, to get school supplies and go to Little Caesars to have a pizza. Or get a Hot Wheels car like I used to. Or get a deal because they had deals in Kmart back in the day. Kmart really was the savings place. Was one of the cheapest places around besides Ames. Was Kmart. Kmart was nostalgic as they were... A place that I would go annually, every weekend basically, Saturday or Sunday. Sometimes we would go on the school nights to Kmart to go to Little Caesars to eat at their cafe. Although I wasn't born when Kmart's early days was around in the 60s and 70s and 80s and early 90s and mid 90s. But I was born when Kmart was still a good thing to go to, a good place to go to. Then I started to see Kmart decline with their stores starting to become very dirty and prices going up too at Kmart. It seemed like they had cheap merchandise for a high price. Look at all these people shopping at Kmart on the opening day. Very sad. Kmart used to have customer service back before Eddie Lambert took over the company in 2005. The 70s and 80s saw Kmart grow across the U.S. with stores opening basically every month. America really loved Kmart. And it showed during those years of the late 60s, 80s, and 70s. But, as the years went on, Kmart started to become more into debt. Did America really lost I Love Kmart? In the 1980s, late 1980s, or late 1970s, early 1980s, Kmart entered Canada. With only a couple locations, but still, Kmart entered Canada in late 1970s, early 1980s. In the late 80s, early 90s, Kmart started to buy stores and started to come up with new concepts. They bought Builder Square, which was very similar to Home Depot and Lowe's. They bought Borders Bookstore. They bought Office Max. They even had their own Pace membership warehouse, kind of similar to Sam's Club, that they bought in 1989. They sold the Pace membership stores in 1993 and 1994 to Walmart for converting them to Sam's Club because Kmart got out of the membership warehouse division. Kmart even had their own sports store. Sports Authority was was uh, 
a part of the Kmart company in the 1990s. Of course, separating from the Kmart company in the late 1990s, but still, in the early 1990s, Sports Authority was owned by Kmart. Kmart even tried their gas station concept with Kmart Express in the late 1990s, early 2000s. Super Kmart was Kmart Super Center, which was with groceries, pharmacy, and more more uh, stuff to offer to customers. They even tried Big Kmart, which was a a concept supposed to be like Super Kmart and regular Kmart into one. And of course, 2005, 2004, Kmart was was uh, acquired by Sears or vice versa. The future is uncertain for Kmart, as these three locations that are left in New York State, one in New York State, one in New Jersey, and one in Florida, are still open. But the future is uncertain, as Kmart's probably going to close within a couple years entirely. Although there's still Kmart thriving in Australia, but Kmart in the U.S. is going to become a thing of the past soon, unfortunately. This is a Kmart documentary. Thanks for watching.